what's going on everybody so man it's been a minute since i've done uh a first impressions video i think the last one was honestly digimon stories cyber sleuth hackers memory yeah honestly because i feel like since then what game has come out that like you know i've been excited for been ex uh waiting for the only thing i can think of is that i bought and received god of war and things like that but you know we don't really talk about those type of games on this channel so other than that though so so far you know i've been playing dragon quest 11 um about i want to say 11 to 12 hours in it's been about two days um by the time this is going up i think i'll be even farther than i am now but i think i'm at this point where i'm i'm i have these thoughts of of what's going on and you know i'm ready to explain them in a sense so let's just get right into it so right off the bat man so i streamed the first my first impression like i not first but but my first experience with dragon quest opening it up and playing it for about two hours if you guys saw that live stream and one of the things that i first mentioned was the effect that almost at the very start you know all we did was see that we saw that beginning intro uh, video which was uploaded on onto youtube so i actually already saw it and then so it's kind of whatever i just want to see it again and then i think there was a, another small little cutscene, and then almost immediately you're into the game bro you are having a fight and all that kind of stuff it doesn't really go through any, any tutorials because really it's it's simple you know it's a simple combat system from the start you know and i think it's it's what it does a really good job of i, I think i'm noticing this now it does a good job of like not exactly having to teach you anything you it just progresses you in such a nice way that you kind of figure it out and it's not even that it takes that much figuring out i'm telling you so I'm getting ahead of myself with this, but there's this one little mechanic of where you kind of upgrade your, your gear. You can add a plus to it. So it kind of makes it so you don't have to always be upgrading your gear when you go to a new town and buy stuff. We're going to talk about that. So the, you got to get to a certain point, And the, if, if you can get more of the spots to that certain little, you know, uh, arrow that it's pointing to your gear is going to have a better chance of being a higher plus you know so exa for example if you don't do any of them you know it'll just be like a plus one if you do all of them plus five something like that so i didn't realize that but just from trial and error you know so i you might say that this isn't that big groundbreaking but i'm just saying a lot of games i've been playing recently i feel like they've been just giving you tutorial after tutorial after tutorial, and it's, i don't know what it is that kind of stuff kind of bores you and gets you gets me a little uninterested whereas whenever i all of a sudden accidentally did it the one time gave me a plus three did it again gave me nothing and then again i kind of i was like wait a second why did, did it you know very like that then i just thought about it and i figured it out so something like that i just like a lot and so that's what happened from the very start you know you're in action immediately you don't really know what's going on and something that was surprising to me this doesn't seem i feel like this might not be that crazy but i thought maybe i don't know i couldn't use spells right away i'd have to do something new, but no you know within like level three you get a nice little fire spell and i was like all right well because i think right before i was about to say i was like i know you can do magic i see it but i was like i wonder when i can get that next thing you know i leveled up and i got this fire skill i'm like oh all right then i guess that's how you get it so that's just something that's that's that needs to be pointed out you know pointed out unlike so uh, i guess another thing i'm going to be referring to is persona 5 you know persona 5 is a little different in a sense but it has such a slow start you know whereas like like i said this one you're immediately getting into it and i think so far what i've been ha what i've been experiencing it's it just feels like it has this nice progression you know you're gradually leveling up and you're gradually gaining more skills and i feel like every time whenever you need something else you get it and it just like happens i don't know maybe that's just my experience so far but i'm just i'm just i'm just happy you know i'm just happy i'm happy i'm happy so another aspect that i always worry and i really need in my rpgs is not just progression in terms of story but character progression so you know this is one of those games where you're going to towns visiting a lot of towns as you're going uh you know you go one place it tells you oh you need to go here so you're, you're vis constantly visiting new areas new places first off i love that it's been varied so far a couple towns and i'm in a desert and i'm going somewhere else i don't know where i'm going yet i and that's the thing i'm so excited to see because this is the one thing i want to say it, that game is just so pleasing on the eyes bro it just looks so nice and uh what is it toriyama who did the character design is that his name Aki akira toriyama whatever his character designs you know we all know dragon ball so every character just looks so cool like just it's just a pleasing game 
for your eyes that's just how i gotta say it but back on the whole items thing so it's like again i need in my games good character progression and so every town i'm going to there's new gear even not even towns even just wandering merchants have better gear for me to buy the one time i go into a little new area there's a merchant right there first i was kind of random that he was there but then he had this new gear so i was like all right bet i'm gonna buy it i was like oh maybe there's not gonna be new gear in the in this next town i'm going to nope I get his gear, go to the next town, then the, the gear in the town is even better. So I love that because that then gives me my own personal reason to grind. Because yes, you could grind for levels, but me, man, I grind for the aesthetics. Even though not every costume changes what you look like, just the idea of getting new equipment and your, your swords do change, that is enough of, of, a, of a push and want for me to grind. And that's just puts in more hours for your gameplay. So it's like, it's not this forceful, 80 hours that I might get to which is what I hear like the average play time it's this very gradual and you can go at your own pace so another thing I guess we'll get into now is a story it's very engaging I th it dude they, they're just doing a great job the voice acting is so on point I'm sitting here giggling at stuff like ah oh, this is this is such a good game bro I'm telling you like I want to know what's happening like it's, it's just as an example Horizon Zero Dawn gameplay is amazing but that story is so uninteresting that i don't feel like playing it for this one uh for dragon quest 11 uh, another example persona 5 you just really want to keep playing and find out and then not only that if it feels like it's a generic story at one point and they just keep throwing these little different type of scenarios that happen semi-predictable but at the same time not exactly i don't know it's cool it's cool and it really just keeps me interested that's what i like and then on that same note it's like whenever i go to these new towns so people keep telling me like 80 hours without side quests honestly whenever i go to these towns there's not even that many side quests there's around two to three but those those side quests could definitely take you on for some time but honestly so there was one today that i was about to do i was about to do let that be known because i'm trying to beat this game in a timely fashion so i don't know if that's going to ruin my experience because again i kind of want to stay in these towns experience it a little bit more and just have fun in it because they're so beautiful to look at and just be around you know but i kind of i don't know if i'm gonna finish it but as of right now i just kind of picked it up just to see what it, what it was asking me to do and because i asked another thing i feel like the rewards need to uh benefit be, be a benefit to me i don't want to spend like an hour or so of playtime that i could have been progressing just to get some dumb item you know so i need to maybe do one of these newer ones to see what they give me so i can gauge how important because if it's some good items bro i will do it you know that's that's the type of that's that's the type of game this is you know i feel like i want to just get those rare items because not everyone does everything so i want to start flexing on people you know take a screenshot put it on twitter someone's like oh what is that i haven't seen you know what i'm saying that's the kind of how i feel because for the most part you see everything but there's some few things that you could do that'll get you some Rare. and then lastly i just want to say like the little things in this game just add up like for 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 the first example the the whole um crafting of new gear adding the plus to them i thought that was just such a cool i was not expecting that because i thought all my weapons were going to be built i don't know i've never played I, I think i meant to say this at the beginning of the video i've never played a dragon quest game really you know i played eight but i don't really remember much of it at all and so that doesn't really count in a sense so there's just things that it was this game was surprising me with that i thought was going to be one way but it's giving me both ways in a sense so on that same note being able to change my equipment during battle now i know i don't know i'm thinking of persona 5 because you have to get a, a confide in or something like that to be able to do to switch out your teammates whereas for this game so you know every every character can have multiple weapons every weapon can do have multiple skills so for example my boy eric has a boomerang that can do an area of effects attack at the start i didn't really have any of any like that but at the same time he's better with daggers in a sense so i was like i kind of want to use his boomerang when i'm grinding or just have little weak enemies a lot of them so i can do damage on them quickly so it's nice just to be able to switch out do that move switch it not, not only that like when you switch it doesn't take up a turn or anything like that so just those little things just add up and just make for just this just just happy like i'm just feeling happy when i'm playing it bro i just love it i just love it but man yeah that's essentially all i gotta say um wow i just i just like and i'm dreaming about it i just think about it uh the new fortnite mode came out 
I did play that, but all I was thinking about was Dragon Quest. I'm like, I need to start progressing in that story. Because that's another thing. I want to get to the end farther in. Because I know it's going to get fun. I just got my fifth member. And the thing is with that, so it's like you can only have four. So now I might have to depend or uh, decide when I want to use a magic user, when I want to use a combat user. So that I know that the combat is going to start evolving a lot. And so that's why I want to get to that point, you know, because that's when the real fun really starts happening. Right now, the combat's really picking up, I will say. It's getting a lot more skills and all that kind of stuff. So it's picking up. The enemies are getting a little stronger. I was facing the fighting this little dragon thing, and yeah, he was, he was a little tougher, but you know, whatever. After I figured it out, I beat him up uh, easily and whatnot. So, just overall, man, I really think this is a great JRPG. That's another thing. I have not been playing too many JRPG. This is a very, very traditional JRPG, and this is what I really love about them. The only thing, the only thing missing well, would be the more where uh, the thing, the idea of my costumes, everything I buy, new armor changes. Now, I will say though, with this type of game, it is kind kind of cool seeing your OG uh, costume because I feel like for Persona 5 when I got DLC costumes I still kind of wanted to use Joker's main all the their main costume because it just added this aesthetics you know when you're playing so I don't even mind it you know I don't mind it at all I actually just got my first uh costume that ch actually changes for one of my girls a serena i think so that was cool i grinded to get that money so i could have left the, the the town but i grinded to get money so i could buy it because i was like i want to get this before i leave this town that's what i love about this game so yeah other than that man that's all i gotta say if you guys are on the fence about this there's so many games coming out in the next few days weeks whatever bro i'm telling you if you're not getting that many of them get this game it's an experience it's a jrp that's like all i gotta say it's an rpg that is just pleasant pleasant to play that's play that's all i gotta say man that's all i gotta say so other than that if any of you guys out there are playing it let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below as well be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos so other than that that's all i gotta say okay wow i can't wait to start playing again i can't wait to start playing again so yeah i will see you all in the next video peace why these niggas always trying to move when I move? You can't keep up with the pace, please don't try to make room. Playing switch all in your face, I can't see what you do. I'm not finna run the race with no chances to lose. Yeah.